morning, everybody. Welcome to Two Real Geeks. I'm super excited about what we have planned for today. So, geeks, and especially all you 80s kids out there, get ready. I'll give you a hint. Can you guess? Okay, today we're going to Babyland General Hospital, home of the Cabbage Patch Kids. I'm super excited about this. I've been wanting to go since well before we lived in Georgia, but it was really like a major selling point on moving here <laughs> was that I wanted to get to Babyland General Hospital in my lifetime because I was like prime age during the Cabbage Patch Rush of the 80s. Like I remember you had to be on like a waiting list at Toys R Us and you could only have like one kid on the waiting list. So my mom had me on the waiting list and they used my grandmother to put my brother on the waiting list so he could get one too. Like, my parents didn't even wait for Christmas that year. Thank God. They were awesome. Um, so, we were right away on the waiting list for the Cabbage Patch Kids. And I remember how it went. Hey, baby. I remember, um, so, yeah, like, I guess they would only get a certain amount in at a time. And, um, so whenever you came up, they would call you. And your mom would <laughs> drag you down to Toys R Us where, like, you didn't even go into, like, the main part of Toys R Us. There was, like, a customer service little, like, weird room window thing off on the side. And, um, you had to, like, go in this little thing. And behind glass, there was, like, a wall of Cabbage Patch Kids, which, like, looked like a million. But it was probably, like, 20 or 30 of them. I have no idea. And... That's where you would have to go, was into this little room to, like, pick out the Cabbage Patch Kid that you wanted. And I remember being really upset because I was, like, so little. And, like, the counter, as it was, was probably, like, over my head. And then they were all, like, stacked up behind that. And I remember thinking, like, I can't see them all. Like, <laughs> I can't really, like, make it accurate. So it was, like, really even stressful as a little kid. But, um, I remember my first Cabbage Patch Kid, she actually was wearing this outfit, this is, these, let's see, a handful of these, this one, this one, this one, this one, are, um, all old, original, like, 80s Cabbage Patch Kids, full disclosure, they're not my originals, necessarily, mine, um, did get lost in some little mishaps along the way, but my mom, yay mom, um, would go to, like, you know, if she was out during the day and she caught any, like, garage sales or anything like that, she would, uh, check them for any of the original 80s Cabbage Patch Kids. She had instructions on <laughs> how to check and date them. <laughs> and so, throughout the years, my mom actually sort of, like, uh, replenished my collection of originals, um, like, it was, like, such a huge deal when I was little. I remember, like, every Christmas, the first thing I would do would be, like, scout all the presents to see if any of them were cabbage boxes. Because you could always tell they were kind of weird shaped. So, <laughs> I could always tell which ones were Cabbage Patch Kids. So, like, I got my first original one. Over the years, I got, um, let's see. I had a preemie. I had a baby. I had a corn silk kid. Um... My cousin Kim still to this, I never had a Kusa. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin Kim, who to this day talks about her. Her mother bought herself a Kusa, but didn't get one for Kimmy. And she's still bitter about it. Um, so I'll be thinking of her today, over at Babyland General too. And all my friends, because it was a big part of our childhood. So I'm super excited, and I can't wait till Danny gets home. And we can head out to Babyland General. Alright, see you guys soon. Here goes Jess, all excited to get into the Cabbage Patch. <laughs> What's going on guys? We're actually here at Cabbage Patch Babyland Hospital. Babyland General. Babyland General. Sorry, the Cabbage Patch expert has spoken. Inside now and check this out. All right, guys, here we go. We'll go through the front doors. Hello, how are you? 
are you? Have you been here before? No, we actually have not. That's okay. actually kind of cool that we got to sign in like an actual <laughs> hospital. <laughs> yes, ma'am, just two of us. Okay. So restrooms are down the hall on the left. You can take any pictures or videos that you like. You'll enter through those double doors. And if y'all need any help, just let us know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jess is signing us in to uh, the ward here. Just to show you a few celebrities that actually have been to this location. Oh, we found some Ewoks. Uh oh, we're in definitely in the right place now. in their case in their hallway here. Snoopy. And it's kind of impressive to see you're in the same spot as Steve Martin as well as Betty White. So if you guys have seen any of your favorite previous actors that have been here, leave a comment. Let us know who you've seen. And we definitely look forward to seeing that comment. Pen and Teller. So, you know, I thought it was just one wall. But we actually have multiple walls. Jim Henson. This is impressive on how many famous actors, athletes, and such have been here. Ted Danza. Astronauts have been here. Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder. This is really impressive. Alan Thick. So Jessica just pointed this one out. I know we just went through this. But it's impressive on how you have Vincent Price next to Ted Danson. This must be a good place. Hey Jess, you want a comfy chair? You want a natural chair? Check this chair out. Can't see. No, that won't work. Turn around. Now I'm part of the cabbage patch. Now we're in the Cabbage patch kid with Mickey Mouse club ears. Snoopy. I found the doctor for this hospital. <laughs> what Cabbage Patch Kids look like the year I was born. <laughs> the year Jessica was born. <laughs> Cabbage Patch Kids would look like this. <laughs> Mother Goose hanging out in there. Everybody had a full long Fisher Price dog. I know I did. 
little thing with the springtail. A little Louisville Slugger edition. I didn't know they had a little horse one too. Okay. I have to say this Cabbage Patch one kid is definitely kind of stylish. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I would have to say that one. It's amazing all the old toys that they have. Jessica's about to walk into the nursery here. These are all the handmade ones, correct? Mm -hmm. In case you were wondering, it's a boy. <laughs> the biggest Cabbage Patch kid you would probably ever come across, but it's not a kid. That's actually Nurse Gardner, and she is an LPN. That's the first time I've actually seen colored hair on a Cabbage Patch Kid. So we noticed that was the boy side, and here's the girl side of the nursery. They make little unicorns. This must be the uh, teenage Cabbage Patch Kids. Is that what we're going to call it? The Big Kids Nursery? The Playroom. The Day Room? the main area of this place of the baby land general. Just nothing but cabbage patch kids everywhere. Yeah, Jessica's in sensory overload right now. Cabbage Patch Kid into a little Elsa. Hey Jess. No, I was gonna ask you, do you want to build a snowman? You would love to. I think on an 80 degree day in Georgia is impossible. Whole bunch of yeah, all the other Disney princess dresses. They have little dragons. <laughs> <laughs> and their bags. Okay, what does what does Ninja Turtles have to do with Cabbage Patch? I guess we will never know. Hey, we are in Georgia, so is this a um, tribute to Daryl? Hey, Jordan, aren't you a little young to be riding a motorcycle? So now, this is actually the boys' side of the store. And get trucks and cars, tire swings. Boy, cabbage patches. 
check this out. They actually got a party room. Upside down cake on the ceiling. I guess that would be for the birthday. So we just received notification that they're actually doing a delivery at the Crystal Tree. Passing through, I guess this would be the newborns that were born already. So we will make our way to the Crystal Tree. This will be here.
So I think this one might be the next one. If you notice that there are some moving around inside of Mother Cabbage here. Those aren't moving, they're not ready. If you look up top, there's little Cabbage Patch uh, fairies in the sparkle tree. In case you're wondering, to an adopt an exclusive Cabbage Patch kit from Babyland General Hospital, it is $59.99. These are apparently only available here or on their website. A bunch of ones in the little cribs. These are more over here. These ones look like they're about to escape. And then this one having story time? I don't know what's going on in here. They also do carry the holiday kids. Are $49.99. This is last year's version for the 2018th holiday season. These are more of a collectible doll. They're posable, big kids. You got Zoe, Zoe Sky. little fashionable right there. You know, if there's a way for Snoopy to fly, I think he will find any way to possible. Snoopy, what are you doing? That's a reindeer. The Red Baron ain't around here. Hey Jess, what are you doing? What are we doing, Jess? Picking babies out of these baby bugs. Add the incubator. Cabbage Patch Kids are over here at a night out at the diner. It's kind of funny. There's more modern toys right here than what we have seen around here. It's a good variety of modern and retro. We got Santa Claus up here. For sure, Cabbage Patch Kids were on everybody's list at one time or another. Selling a bunch of ornaments and stuff. A lot of teeny baby stuff around too. Little kids' hats. She had to do it. Okay, guys, that wraps up our adventure here at Cabbage Patch, Baby Land General. Got our Cabbage Patch souvenir merch. Bringing home a baby, apparently. <laughs> we adopted a, little, a, a tag along. souvenir to hang out with all of her uh, <laughs> brothers and sisters from the 80s. But we had a great time, and it was really cool. Just want to see. We're actually hanging out. Hanging out on a cabbage. On a cabbage. <laughs> with a kid. Cabbage Patch Kid. Alright, thanks guys. Till next time, guys. Mm -hmm.